What's going on everybody? Welcome to day five of the 30 day video challenge. I'm super pumped that you're here today because I have a very personal question for you. And I really, really want you to think about this. Specifically for yourself and for your business. Or your future business for that matter. What is getting in your way? What in the world is getting in your way? Nine times out of ten, it's you. Nine times out of ten, Tyler Nelson is the person or thing that is getting in Tyler Nelson's way. And that frustrates me. It used to anyways. It doesn't anymore. Because I'm not getting in my way anymore. No more. And you shouldn't either. You got to figure out some clarity. Why are you doing what you're doing? And you got to just go for it all in. One example of that in my imperfect life was leaving my job. Leaving my job. My my brother-in-law calls me one day. Oh, I don't know. This is a handful of months before I quit my job. He says, hey, you want to be my business partner? I was a little confused because he had a business partner. A couple of them. And I said, what does that look like? Got me thinking a little bit, right? I had to get out of my own way of thinking about all of the, holy cow, I love my benefits, I, my family's secure, we're safe. Sure, sure you are, if that's what you want. And there's nothing wrong with that if that's the, the path you wanna take. But that was not the path I wanted to take. I had already started some side hustle projects that were making me great money. Great money. But I was getting in my own way from leaving this corporation that I was working for because I enjoyed the owners. And I enjoyed, for the most part, the people I worked with. But I knew that I had to get out. Right then, we had two children and a third on the way. And if I was gonna make this happen, I had to make it happen right now. <clears throat> Tony Robbins always says, burn the boats. Lots of people say it, talk about it. But I've heard Tony Robbins say it a lot. Burn the boats. You gotta, you gotta go all in. That's what happened. That's totally what happened. My business partner, who now is, or my brother-in-law, who's now my business partner, we went all in. He moved his entire family from Utah. I moved my entire family from Arizona back to Idaho, where we are from. And we had pretty much nothing besides some savings and some big hearts and some big goals and dreams and aspirations. And we said, we gotta figure it out. Is that scary? Heck yeah, <laughs> that's scary. But get out of your own way. Let God take control of it. If that's what you believe in, a higher power, whatever. Take control of the situation and the more that you try, the luckier you probably will become. You can call it luck, you can call it blessings, you can call it fortunate, you can call it whatever, but as you are trying more and more and more, the likelihood of you succeeding at least 1%, it's gonna happen. It's totally gonna happen. And that's what we did. 
We started thing after thing after thing. We were just throwing paint at the wall. Is that the best business advice in the world? Probably not. But for us, that was our option. So that's what we started to do. And we became successful through that. We would start a business. It would make us a little bit of money, pay the bills. Then all of a sudden it wouldn't pay the bills. So we're, we were relying on savings. And if you want to fact check any of this, ask our wives, because they're fully aware <laughs> what was going on. And we were doing our best. And all of a sudden it started to click. And one business would take off. And then a second business would take off. And then all of a sudden, we have multiple businesses bringing us in uh, money every month. Not a bad situation. But the only way that happened was lots of failure, lots of growth, lots of 16... 17 hour days like literally shoot I remember we would ride the projects together we would be picking each other up 5, 6 7 in the morning usually 5, 6 in that range be coming home well after 6, 7, 8 o'clock just depending and sometimes then we would actually meet about like the actual business because we were, we were doing the work so then we had to figure out the next steps I mean it never stopped but I wouldn't change I wouldn't change anything about it and I'm super grateful for my business partner that he endured that with me and we're not perfect by any means but we've been through some stuff to, to figure that out so I asked the question what's it getting in your way Get out of your own way. Make it happen. If you want anything bad enough, you'll figure it out. You will figure it out. You've seen time and time again examples of this. I promise you have. And if you haven't, shoot me a DM. I'll give you some examples. But you got this. Get out of your own way. Get out of your own head. And just start. Start imperfectly. I'm on day five of this 30-day challenge. Guess what? I've started this challenge for myself. No one, no one's watching these videos, but I don't care. Because in my mind, I'm saying, heck yeah, a million people are watching these. And this is going to help some of those people. <laughs> I tell myself that. I legit tell myself that. And guess what? One day someone will watch these videos. And it's going to be awesome. Not because I'm cool. Not even at all because of that. But because it's going to help somebody start their next gig. Start their next project. It's going to free them from that 9 to 5 that they so badly want to get out of. Guys, you got this. Guys, girls, young, old. It doesn't matter. You can change the trajectory of your life right now you have to believe that in yourself if you don't it won't but if you do it will I promise you that hopefully this helps somebody today follow along on this 30 day journey subscribe to the channel guys much much love appreciate you who do I appreciate no one watched my video yesterday but I appreciate that, actually. I do appreciate that because I know that if I keep going, I'll get better. And that's awesome. Stay classy out there. Keep grinding. You're going to make a difference. You are going to make a difference. See you tomorrow.